Hi guys, Ray here from City Fan TV. Hope you're all doing really well today. I want to show you the top since uh, it was a gift from Mike Long from Bolt from the Blue. Thought I better uh, show myself wearing it because Mike's asking. Um, it's not looking too bad, I don't think. It's the second one of these. I got my lads bought me one for Father's Day, and yes, I think it says Ray on the back, but this one we've got nothing on the back. But thank you very much, Mike and everybody else concerned who uh, contributed to the acquisition and uh, deliverance of this shirt. It is a beauty. Right, guys. Bernardo Silva. We're going to talk about Bernardo Silva. It was only a few weeks ago, only a few weeks ago, that I said that I expected Bernardo Silva to sign a new contract at City or a contract extension. Call it what you will. And... More concrete news. I'm recording this on uh, Tuesday evening. More concrete news, rumours or whatever. Uh, but uh, it appears that Bernardo Silva will be signing a contract extension. As we said, as I said just a few weeks ago, fantastic news. It really is brilliant news. It's like getting a new Galactico signing out of nothing. Because we've lost some players, guys. We've lost some big players, losing Riyad Mahrez. We've lost Ilkay Gundogan. To lose somebody else of Bernardo Silva's stature at the club would have been difficult to take. Because for me, Bernardo Silva, he's part of that first team. You know, you look at the end of last season, Pep had a pretty much settled first 11 for most games. The big games... Bernardo Silva was there on the right. That's why when Riyad was moving on, I wasn't too concerned because I said, hey, as long as we've still got Bernardo Silva, who is the number one player on the right, I'm not too worried because we've got backup or um, even better, you could argue, Phil Foden. So we have other options as well. So when Riyad Mahrez went, I wasn't too worried because we still had Bernardo Silva. And as I said, losing too many se senior players would have been a tough one because you've got to recover from that. And I said time and time again, if you have two or three players who are below that top level playing together, that can actually take a lot out of City. If you just got one player, then... I'm not saying the team can carry them, but the team helped to mask their potential deficiencies. I'll give you an example. Zinchenko or Fabian Delph when they played left-back uh, in the Centurion season and the formidable season. You've got to ask yourself, all right, maybe uh, Fabian Delph didn't play more than what, 10 games in the first season before getting uh, injured. But he didn't look too bad. He, look, he... In my eyes, he was a poor defender. But because City in that season, I think we had about, what, seven, some games around 75, 80% possession. It hardly gave opponents an opportunity to, to, to have a go at him, basically. You know, there were a lot of teams playing 5-4-1. When they got the ball, they didn't get quality ball. They ended up lumping it forward and um, they gave us the ball back. But when he was challenged, when they knocked the ball over his head, he was fine wanting. But... We were still Centurions that season, formidables the season after, because overall, the team carried him through. He wasn't called upon too often. Um, so that's how you can get by. But Bernardo Silva, you can't get by without Bernardo Silva or someone equally as uh, brilliant as he is. And the worry was, to me, was that we would sell Bernardo Silva for, I won't say a, a, a knockdown price, but a lower price than he's worth. Right now, at what, 28 years old, he's worth all of 80 million, 70, 80 million in my book. I might have quoted lower in the past, but he's worth every penny of 70 to 80 million pounds. But I said, I think we could, we could have accepted 50 or 60 million because if he wants to go, we will not keep players. Pep said this time and time again, we will not keep players if they want to leave. We'll let them go. As long as the offer, the transfer fee is acceptable. And that's always been the issue with Bernardo Silva. You get a lot of rubbish coming from Barcelona who, you know, can't afford by the sign of it to pay all their bills, having problems registering players, asking players to reduce their wages, asking them to cut down on their wages so that they can give them when, they, when their contract finishes and 
etc. Um, because they're struggling, absolutely struggling. So all this talk, uh, and it is just talk of Barcelona making a bid for Bernardo, of, and that this is the third season, third summer. Uh, in a row that we've heard talk about Barcelona going to buy Bernardo or he's going to take a wage cut or whatever to go there. It's a load of rubbish. Poppycock, I say. Absolute boulder dash. It ain't happening. Barcelona haven't got a pot to piss in, uh, if truth be told. And, uh, you know, Dembele, what, Dembele's on his way out. They're flogging him off. Um no, they're just trying to make ends meet at the moment. So they can't afford, even if we give a knockdown price of 50 or 60 million quid for Bernardo Silva, I simply do not believe that they can afford that. And if they can't afford that, then why they keep having these rumblings and mutterings that they want, they're going to put a bid in for Bernardo Silva? It ain't happening. It's usually coming from the Spanish press uh, and it's just a load of rubbish. And I've said it before, there's not many teams in world football, or basically world football, you're talking European football, or... Saudi Arabia. There's not many teams that can afford someone like Bernardo Silva. Now, he was linked uh, uh, recently, and I, I did a video on this, that a little while ago with PSG, and I just didn't see the point, the value in that. If he wants to go to Barcelona, PSG, just all it is is halfway there, distance-wise, and that's it. It's a huge downward step for a guy who's just won the treble, a guy who's just won three uh, Premier League titles on the bounce, <laughs> every time he's wanting to leave, he ends up winning the Premier League title. Um, and it's only down from there. It really is only down from there. We stand a fantastic chance of doing just as good as last season or even better. You know, why can't we win the league again? Why can't we win the Premier League again? Why can't we win the Champions League again? Why can't we throw a couple of other trophies in? We've got the uh, European Super Cup. We've got... Um, the Club World uh, Cup as well. So we got tons to, to play for, as well as for domestic trophies as well. So there's a potential six trophies we could win this season. And why wouldn't he want to be a part of that? There's not, As I said, there's not many options as to clubs who can afford him. PSG probably could. But PSG look like they're going to be decimated. Look, Messi's gone. And Bappe's thrown his toys out of the pram. He wants out. And Neymar, apparently, he wants to leave as well. Apparently, he wants to go back to Barcelona. Um, so going to PSG, I mean, it's, they're going to be a shadow of their former selves. Um, so why would you go there? Bayern, they've got their sights set on Harry Kane. It looks like they're going to offer a, 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 another increased bid for Harry Kane. Uh, and if they get him, that they've done their nut. They've done their money. They ain't got any more money. Where else can Bernardo go? There's nowhere else I'd think in Europe who can pay the sort of money that's required to get him. And nobody uh, anywhere in Europe that will match his ambitions to play at the top level. I mean, in 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 England, I mean, Arsenal have already spent two hundred and ten million or something, and they want still want to buy David Raya. So, you know, if they if Arsenal have um, spaffed two hundred and fifty million quid up the wall, they haven't got the sixty to seventy million or whatever for Bernardo Silva. And, I, and, and I would have, this is one player I wouldn't want to go there. I didn't mind. Gabriel Jesus going there. Didn't mind Zinchenko, but I certainly don't want Bernardo Silva going to Arsenal. Who else can afford him? Liverpool. Liverpool can't even pay for 50 million quid for Romeo Lavia. So how are they going to get Bernardo Silva? That ain't happening. United, well, you can forget that. Chelsea, you've got to be daft to go to Chelsea. You really do. Spurs, please, don't make me laugh. No, no one else left. There really isn't. There are no options for Bernardo Silva. <laughs> Believe that. Such a good player. Such a fantastic player for City over the years. But in my opinion, there's nowhere for him to go. Nobody can um, either afford him or offer him the football he, he deserves and he probably uh, wants at this stage of his career. The only people who can offer him the money he wants and pay us the fee is Saudi Arabia, a club there. But I just can't see. There's a lot of strong links there. Um, but I just can't see it happen. I just can't see Bernardo Silva going to Saudi Arabia. Look, if they come back and offer him a million pounds a week, that might be enough to change his mind. A million pounds a week, tax-free. Three-year contract, 150 million quid, tax-free. You know, at City, what's John, 200 grand a week, he'd earn 30 million quid in that time, lose half of it in tax, 15 million quid, as opposed to 150 million quid. You know, if they come knocking on the door with that sort of bid, Maybe he will be interested. Maybe he will think, yep, yeah, might as well. 
But as I said, they can't offer him the quality of football, the, let's be honest, the heritage in the trophies that he's playing for in Europe. No one can offer him that in Saudi Arabia. And I just can't see that happening. So, guys, you know, as I said weeks ago, if Bernardo Silva should be extending his contract at City, it's a time to celebrate. It really is. Because, as I said at the top of the show, it's like we have got a new Galactico signing absolutely for free. And that is wonderful news. Guys, if you're new to the channel, it would be fantastic if you could subscribe. If you can hit that bell icon, you'll be notified as soon as new videos come out. We'll see you around, Bruce.